hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video we will do questions related to constructions whatever is there in year 9 checkpoint syllabus uh, and also it will be helpful for year 7 and 8 students so uh, without any delay let's start the first question that I have here the diagram shows a sketch of a kite you can see and it's written not to scale so that means this is not 4 cm actually it's just the rough diagram use a ruler and compasses to construct uh, the kite in space below you are given space here and the diagonal AB has been drawn for you leave your construction lines right so we need to uh, draw all these measurements that are given to us like accordingly so AB is given to us as 6 centimeters and this one here is 4 so what I'm going to do from here so we will draw a line uh, by measuring it 4 centimeter by ruler uh, here I have drawn this line uh, these lines so let me show you how I did this so from here a it was 4 centimeter so you need to open your compass 8 uh, sorry 4 centimeters from here like this 4 centimeters so draw an arc from putting your needle at a like this see I have already drawn and same from other side like that you know and because this is a kite and these two sides will be equal and similarly then you will take this 5 centimeter arc from 5 centimeter with the ruler and then place your needle at point B draw an arc from this side and another one from this side and then you just join the intersecting points to get shape like this right here we have another question uh, here is a sketch of compound shape made from triangle and a semicircle you can see triangle and semicircle this is not to scale so that means these measurements are not accurate so use a ruler and compasses to uh, construct the shape accurately leave your construction lines line AC has been drawn for you we have line AC here you can see that and on top of this AC we have to construct this triangle by the given measurements so now we have AB is 5 centimeters so let's open our compass 5 centimeters so 5 is here so from 5 here so it is 5 centimeter then we have BC is 7 BC is 7 I can do, do uh, take 7 centimeters from here so from C it should intersect this line right so this is our intersecting point this point will be B this one right so then we can join this one to make a triangle like this another one like this okay so now top part is done right this is 5 centimeter and this is 7 centimeter another one this one is uh, 10 centimeter but to draw a circle we need radius so radius is going to be half of this which is 5 centimeter so now we will open this as 5 centimeter I can just use this one here because this was 5 right so for that okay so we cannot just draw that uh, so we have to take half of this half of this that means we need to have center I think this is the center already our yeah, center is already given to us here so this is the center so I can put needle here and then we are just going to draw circle from here semicircle You see it's done so this is the shape that we got so this is 10 centimeter right next question that we have here is use a ruler and compasses to construct the perpendicular to 
the line AB passing through point P. Do not rub your construction lines. So, let's see how to do that. Now, uh, perpendicular line should pass through this point P. So, what we will do, we will place our needle of the compass on this point P like this and then you draw an arc like this right so now we got this point here that intersect this line so from here you can just extend this uh, radius of the arc so draw one line here one arc here and then from the other end so what exactly we are doing so this is uh, 90 uh, sorry 180 degree here so we have done the half of that now we will join this one to the uh, point P so when we join this to point P then we will get the perpendicular from here So now you see this is a line perpendicular to AB where that intersect with the point from point P. Right? Next question we have here. Here is a right angle triangle. You can see this is a right angle triangle. Sketch two of these right angle triangles joined together to make a parallelogram. You must mark the right angles on both triangles. Now, parallelogram is a shape like this, you know, you all know that, in which uh, opposite sides are parallel to each other and are equal, <coughs> right? So, I will show you roughly first the diagram. How can we do that? So, one triangle is this one. So, we have to place two triangles. Another one we can uh, place it on other side like this so then this will be the right angle right so then this is a parallelogram and another way like this this triangle another one we can put here which is a rectangle and rectangle is also a parallelogram right so I will prefer to do this one here so let me see uh, we have not to actually draw the exactly the same measurements but still uh, we will try to look it same uh, so this one is uh, around 5 so I will draw 5 centimeter line from here like this then we have this one here 2.5 so 2.5 from here like this then we will join this line and then this we have this one is right angle right so we have to draw another uh, triangle so this was 5 so now we are going to take 5 over here right then let's join this one So this is a parallelogram, so this is parallel and these two are parallel. <coughs> we said you must mark the right angles in both triangles. In this triangle this is the right angle, here the right angle is this. Okay, so that is for one mark. Now sketch two of these right angle triangles joined together to make a kite. You must mark the right angles in both triangles. Now, to make a kite, kite is like this, you know, this is the shape of kite. So, that means our, this triangle should come over here. So, right angle should come over here. So, that means uh, uh, this side was 2.5. So, we will we'll take 2.5 like this here. Okay, then this should be a right angle here right angle we can draw with this one uh, that was 5 5 is here 
<coughs> now you join this one then 2.5 again this side Two point five, and then we need to have right angle here, like this, so that it is five here. Yeah, I think that's fine. Like this. So our right angle is here. So you can see this is the kite shape from this side, like this. Okay. So that is also. One more question. I hope you understood this one. We are I have not to draw use actually compass. We just can just use a ruler so that you can have approximately of 90 and 90 degree angle. Uh, this is question of circle. Here is a circle with center C. This is center here. Construct an inscribed regular hexagon. First of all, inscribed. Inscribed means inside the circle. Right, inscribe this inside the circle, and regular means having sides same sides, hexagon having six sided polygon. Right, so regular means all the sides are same. Use your only a pair of compasses and a ruler, do not rub your construction lines. So, uh, what we can do for this one here? Um, so, we will take this distance from radius you take this distance from radius right then from here you can take any point let's see I'm choosing this point here so starting from this point we just need to make arcs of same length like this now don't change this length of the uh, arc so just continue drawing the arcs like this so one two three then four then from here is five and then remaining we have here six from where we started originally right so like this okay so now just going to join these lines to make hexagon like this you should make sure that your pencil is sharpened enough <coughs> sorry <coughs> and then uh, draw the lines very clearly so that your shape is clear so now you see this is hexagon one two three four five and six sided so you need not to rub any of the lines so it should stay like this so this is two marks question and you see it's simple as long as you know the concept so let me repeat you are taking radius as this uh, one side of that so just measure the radius and then you draw arcs six arcs to make hexagon so here is another question uh, construct an inscribed regular hexagon a b c d e f inside the circle uh, now again it's the similar question inscribe inside regular having same side hexagon having six sides polygon uh, then inside the circle vertex a is marked now we are given one of the vertex here so i think you remember now i just told you so just take open this much uh, whatever radius is given to you so then start from point a one arc two then three four five 
from here five then six one is already there right so now again what is next can you tell me need to join the lines right so join all these points to make a hexagon like this your diagram should be neat and clean to get full marks and you should not leave these kind of questions because they are just kind of free marks so in your syllabus you have only this for circles you have only to draw this hexagon so now uh, what was what is the difference so this is hexagon now and uh, construct an inscribed regular polygon a b c d e f so that means examiner want to see the name where is this hexagon so a here so now we need to label a b c d e and f right so now we have this a b c d e f diagram here right so that's it for the constructions i hope you understood guys everything if there is anything let me know in the comment section and please subscribe to my channel press the like button and share it with your friends thank you so much guys god bless you